Well, that was yours truly, Pastor Donzel Hughes and the Voice of Deliverance with a single entitled, Lord, I thank you for letting me live right now. And once again, here in the studios, we are so blessed to have a young lady that's here with us today, all the way from Minden, Louisiana, rather right now. But she's going to tell you a little bit more about herself. We have in the studio with us right now, Miss Yolanda LaShawn. How are you today, Miss Yolanda? I'm great. How are you? Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for stopping by the studio on today. Uh, listen, we were together this past weekend in Wildsville, Louisiana. Yes. Yes, we were. And uh, we had a wonderful time. Oh, my God. We had a it was wonderful awesome. time. It was awesome. But now, you share your testimony before we get into really knowing who you are exactly. And your testimony, I mean, I've heard you say it at least two or three times in the area. But if you don't mind, share your testimony with somebody that's listening right now. Most definitely. Um, I have to say that God has really brought me from a super long way. Um, I was, uh, at the age of 16, I was, you know, I was sexually molested by a Hispanic guy, um, and even before that, you know, living in a, another home with another family, I had been molested numerous of times, not only by men, but even by women. And But when I turned 16 years old, that's when the, the big thing came because I ended up getting pregnant out of that, you know. And my dad, he was the kind of man that he didn't believe in abortions. So I'm grateful that, you know, I was able to actually birth a beautiful young lady out of that. And, you know, she's very smart, very trilingual. Uh, she's in college now, um, studying to be a neonatologist. She's Amen. a ballerina. But even on to, you know, after that happening, I got married early at the age of 21. And from then, I was married to this young man for 10 years. And I would say majority of my time being married to him, I was beaten. I was beaten even on my way to church, having to go to church, literally beat up, you know, um, beating in front of my kids, my kids witnessing a whole lot of that, you know, not only that, in the in between that we look for love and we look for comfort, but when we don't know that Jesus is actually that lover, that comforter. So me, I look to drugs. I look to marijuana. I look to popping pills. And, you know, they had the little fad out where you sipping on cough syrup or whatever. Mm -hmm. you, that, that was like a, it poured in a cup and you drinking it, right, you know. Right. And those things, they took away that moment. That It was like a momentary high. But even though after I came down that situation or that problem, it was still there. So then I felt like I had to go back to where I was in that in that state and get my mind all head, messed up again. But, you know, God delivered me from that. And I'm grateful because after that, he even showed me, he said, hey, if you continue to trust and depend on me, I take you through. And, you know, when I gave my life to Christ, I know that made the devil mad because I end up having two strokes mm. back to back. One when I was at the house and one when I got to the hospital. So, you know, if you don't know God, it's right. the, this is now the time that you need to get acquainted with him because he'll take you through. You know, when you think the devil is there for you, he paints that picture, he makes it look real good. He jacking you up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, what a powerful testimony. So, I mean, out of all of that, even to where you are now, and I know you can see what God has brought you from, how can you just inspire somebody just real quickly um, to where you are now? Where I am now, I would tell a person, let your past actually help you in your future. Don't take that as a point in your life where now you have to waddle in your tears. You have to waddle in the fact of, wow, I've been through this, I've been through that. Let that be, let that be a help to someone else. Tell it, share it, because you never know who is going through the same thing right. that you're going through. And, you know, God, sometimes he takes us through things to prepare us, to give us a story. To share with someone else. So if you're going through something, don't hold back. Amen. Tell it and share it, and it's going to help somebody. So would you consider yourself right now blessed and highly favored? I consider myself tremendously blessed and highly favored. Yes, I do. Well, well, hey, well I tell you what, Brent, if you will, we're going to listen to blessed and highly favored. <laughs> 
that word. By Sister Yolanda LaShawn, right here on the Donzel Hughes Gospel Hour. We are truly blessed and highly favored right here in Shreveport, Louisiana at the Young Pros uh, studio with Miss Yolanda LaShawn. That song was just great, Miss Yolanda. Uh, and if you don't mind, just tell us a little bit, little bit more about yourself and uh, maybe your music ministry. Okay, well, um, you know, as you stated before, I'm coming from Minden. That's where I'm coming from, but I'm originally born and raised in Houston, Texas. Okay. I have been here in Louisiana six years this year. I'm loving it. Um, I've been in the music ministry for a long time, even as a little girl. Um, my mother, she was a gospel recording artist. Um right. She sung with different people, such as Dorothy Norwood. Well, she actually opened up for Dorothy Norwood. Um, uh, uh, ooh, numerous of people. My okay. dad, he was also in the music ministry. Um, he played left-hand lead guitar. He even played for the Mighty Clouds of Joy at one okay. time. Um, but I've been singing since, oh my goodness. So if I tell that, then I'm uh -oh. going to tell my age, uh -oh. okay. <laughs> which is okay. I'm, I'm, you know, God bless me. Hopefully this year I'll see 37 years. Amen. And, um, but I've been singing a very long time. Um, back home in Houston, Texas, um, I had the privilege to actually sing with my alumni, which was Yolanda Adams. Right. Um, she came to our school, and then, of course, we were in the same church. Um acquainted with different people like you know Sean McLemore um, he was our choir director at the church and we furthered the ministry on from there um, just been been singing for a long time that's alright long right. time I ain't stopping I ain't tired no, yet no don't, don't get tired <laughs> yet well, who sings with you right now? I know you have some background singers. With I you the do. Other night. Um, Minister Eric Haley. He, he he has a wonderful wife. Her name is Keitra Bowman Haley. She's one of my strongest altos. And um, also, you know, we go into the family. My tenor. He's also my cousin. He's my okay. husband's cousin, okay. Michael. Davis Jr. He's an awesome, awesome person, awesome photographer. And I have another young lady out of Homer. Her name is Jate O'Neill. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome alto. And then I call this young lady my C Sharp because okay. she take in the raptures. Right. And her name is Brianna Anderson. I have had the privilege to meet these young ladies and this young man. They are awesome people. They are awesome people. They think they tell me what to do. Okay. They, they, they control They control me, yeah. you know, so I tell them, I yeah. said, okay, well, I'll let you have your fun. There but you go. They're, 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 they're family to me. That's all right. They're family to me. That is great, Miss Yolanda. So um, what do you have coming up in the near future? Oh, we um, actually I have a lot coming up. Actually, June twenty eighth this year will mark a year that I've been in ministry here in Shreveport, Louisiana, and okay. I will be releasing my newest sophomore um, single, "God Will Do It." And um, from there, um, I have different appearances with uh, Kim Lumsey at her birthday bash, as well as on um, March thirtieth at Fresh Wind. Uh, Praise Center with, uh, I think her name is Pastor Pinkney and um, who we, uh, April 5th with uh, Brother James Maxey at his concert. <laughs> I have a lot of different things coming up so um, follow me if you will. Alright, well we're going to try to do our best to keep up with you Miss Yolanda and like I said we truly enjoyed the fellowship on this past weekend and uh, we definitely want to keep the fellowship going with you so if you don't mind, I tell you, if, if just in case someone is listening and they were touched by your testimony, they would love to hear your music, how can they get in touch with you? My telephone number, I freely give. It's 318-934-8794. Give me a call. If you want to get a copy of a CD, anything, just give me a call. Amen. Give me a call. So, so maybe on the sophomore project when it come out, it's going to say Evangelist Yolanda. <laughs> I was all right, I was all right. Well, keep on preaching, girl. <laughs> keep on preaching. So I tell you what, we're gonna go into another song right here. Thank you, Miss Yolanda. We should certainly appreciate you stopping by on today. Thank you so much for having me. Amen. So if you don't mind, we're gonna listen to another song off Yolanda Lashawn CD called "More Like You," right here on the Dunzel Hughes Gospel Album. Bring if you will. 